you know, uh, I just want to highlight again something that really came out in the um, time that we had with Chris, which is the importance of community and and how how really precious and valuable it is to. Uh, and sometimes it is a question of creating one or recreating one or uh, whatever it might be. And I've seen, you know, so many times with in so many kind of crises that are uh, generalized, you know, so many people going through it, how uh, the people who have some sense of, even if it's starting right then, you know, even if it's not a longstanding uh, sense of community, and it doesn't matter, I have found, uh, even online, even, you know, uh, just a sense of connection within, a sense of belonging, um, so you don't feel whatever thing you're going through that life's forgotten you that you're abandoned that you're you're just cut off or alone and um and as i get older i see how uh important increasingly that is and and so just to i think bear that in mind you know sometimes the times we feel the most alone that's a signal that uh maybe we can either reach out or let others reach out to us or Remember to take care of one another and um, not to ignore that, whatever other tools or or skills you may be employing. So let's sit together some. And I've always found meditation kind of an oddity in that because it may look like the most solitary activity in the world. Like maybe you do it all alone, maybe your eyes are closed, but somehow in that process of getting a little quieter and seeing more clearly, one of the things we see clearly is how connected we all are, that that's, that's just the truth of things. And so um, it, it just happens that you don't have to make that happen, that insight or that understanding. It's, it's one thing that's revealed. And so whatever practice you may do uh, of introspection, whether it's meditation or journaling or whatever, just that process of getting a little quiet and getting clearer will reveal this. And so uh, let's sit together. You can sit comfortably, close your eyes or not, just be at ease. Start by listening to sound, whether it's the sound of my voice or other sounds. It's a way of relaxing deep inside, allowing our experience to come and go, arise and pass away. And of course, we do like certain sounds and we don't like others, but we don't have to chase after them to hold on or push away. Just let it come, let it go. Bring your attention to the feeling of your body sitting, whatever sensations you discover. See if you can feel the earth supporting you. and space touching you. You can bring your attention to the feeling of your breath, just the normal natural breath, wherever you feel it most distinctly at the nostrils, at the chest or at the abdomen. You can find that place, bring your attention there, and just rest. See if you can feel one breath.
The primary word is rest. We're going to rest our attention. Just rest your attention on the breath. Thoughts might come and go. Sounds might come and go. Images, emotions, sensations, whatever. If they're not that strong, if you can stay connected to the feeling of the breath, just let them flow on by. You're breathing. It's just one breath. And if they are stronger, if they kind of pick you up and move your attention there, it's okay. You can just recognize, oh, this is what's predominant right now. There's thinking, there's joy, there's sorrow, whatever it is. Recognize it. See if you can let go. Bring your attention back to the feeling of the breath. And for all those many times, perhaps you are just gone. Lost in a fantasy, tossed around by your thoughts. You fall asleep. Truly, don't worry about it. You can recognize that. See if you can let go gently and return your attention to the feeling of the breath. No matter how many times you have to do that, it's fine. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes or lift your gaze and we'll end the meditation.